good Monday morning, do excuse the state of me, but never mind. Pussycat, welcome to the new pad. Um, it's five past seven, just woken up. Um, it's now day. Um, and we're going to go to B&M today and stuff to have a look for, we're going to, mum's doing the front room up as well, so we need to, oh, so much hair. Um, we need to look for some cushions and stuff for the front room before we have the carpet laid out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and have a look at B&M today. Um, and there's a savers next door to the nail shop, so we always go in there and get the odor and bits like that, which I'm surprisingly okay for. I do use it, by the way, before anyone can use it. I do. I just bought loads last time we went so i get my dry shampoo and the deodorant body spray bits like that look how nice my room looks so nice um so yeah we're just gonna go and have a nice girly day together um so yeah it is so windy out there like so windy so i'm gonna go and have a cup of coffee and sort out some breakfast soon and get ready and yeah so I'll catch up with you throughout the day so I'll see you in a bit guys guys I'm try I bought this thing from B&M and I just don't know if it's gonna help good afternoon guys um it is five to four i am looking a complete wreck um i have been blown about all over the place today um so i have been <laughs> sorry i haven't caught up with you it is just the fact that it's been a busy day so we went to get our nails done, which I'll show you my nails when I can spin you around and um, show you them better. Um, so we've been nails, we went and had a coffee, had our nails done, went to Wilkinson's because I needed a new mascara. Um, and I love the essence, actually, let me show you what I got in Wilkinson's. So yeah, we went to Wilkinson's, which I'll show you what I got, and then we went to Savers, which I didn't get anything in Savers because um, I didn't need anything. Like I normally get my deodorant, dry shampoo, body spray, um, makeup wipes if I use them, but I stopped really using makeup wipes. Um, and then we went to B and M. Um, B and M. I only got this. Now it's on the top of my phone now, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. But I just picked up one of these, so it's just a selfie light. Um, but I thought it might help with the lighting situation. It was only a fiver um, for vlogging. Um, just when, like at night, when I got my blind shut, and just when it's a bit darker. So, um, I just picked up one of these mascaras. Um, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Um, the Lash Princess is not going to focus. I'll put you down there. So, the uh, Essence Lash, you can see my nails there as well. <laughs> Lash Princess Mascara, the False Lash Effect. This is my favourite mascara. It's amazing. Buy this every time, and it's like three pound fifty. Brilliant. Uh, this is the dupe. Hang on a second. For the benefit, give me brow, and it is amazing. It's really good if you want like a natural, um, like brow fluffy brow day. And the, but the only downside is they only do it in two shades. So I always go for the brunette rather than blonde. Um, but really good. I've just been wearing this lately in my brows. Nothing else. 
and then I bought this which is the eyebrow powder make me brow eyebrow powder I've never tried this before it's got a little bulbarian in it and I thought it focus in so yeah I thought I'd give it a go and see what it was like so I can't remember how much that was because I haven't got the receipt anymore right also I know this is terrible vloggage um, my nails so I went for this kind of colour and I've got marble in the two middle so I love them I love them they're beautiful um there we go so yeah that's what i got in wilkinson's just to try it because i'm going for more of a natural brow lately like i haven't been filling them in so harshly like i used to use this revolution pro but this is way too warm for me when i've just had my hair colored but I haven't been anywhere near a super drug in months to repurchase the blonde version, like a cooler tone blonde version, to be able to like heavily fill them in. But I've been really just enjoying wearing that. Um, I've just been wearing this in them lately because I've got a fringe. No one really sees my brows like to the extent where is eyebrows you know so i've just been wearing this and really enjoying it embracing more natural brow so yeah we've just watched helicopter heroes um and i'm just gonna chill now my legs are freaking killing me um i've got a letter from my friends to read having my hair cut tomorrow um, I've got a letter from a friend and I'm just going to chill before having some dinner, doing my Hamera and all that jazz. So, I, yeah, that's it really guys. Um, hope you like my nails. I love them. I love the marble. Our nail salon's only just started recently doing the marble. Um, but they were all practising today because it was really quiet in there. And my lady was like, do you want marble? I was like, do I hell? Of course I do. Um, and I wanted this kind of colour, like the colour I've got in my room. So I chose this kind of colour. Had my eye on this one last time because the lady had it and I was like, oh, I like that. Um, so next time, um, we're I'm going to have a new set. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. And I'll catch up with you before I go to bed, probably. Um, yeah, let's all go around here. Good Tuesday morning, guys. It's Tuesday. It's 20 to 9. It's hair day, as you can tell, because I look like a mess. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day outside, you can't really see. It's windy and rainy and horrible. Um, so I had a shower, I'm all dressed, my knees are killing me, like literally killing me. Um, so I'm just going to have a lazy day in today, um, just rub some gel on them and I'm going to take some stronger painkillers I think because they are killing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for Nadine to arrive um, and that's it really, so not a lot exciting going on my dad's going to take some stuff down the charity shop um mum's going to pop to the bank and that after she's had a haircut it's all going round here <laughs> Emmy's under the bed in her box she's laying i've got banana boxes with my books and that in because i don't think i told you i'm going to put a bookcase there but not until we've had the carpet laid um so I need to get looking for a bookcase. And uh, she's laying on top of my DVDs under the bed in this box. And she freaking loves it. Like, I can't get her out of it. Um, so I think she's gone under there. Um, so, yeah, that's where she'd be. Yeah, so it's all go this morning. So I'm just going to chill for a bit until Nadine arrives. She's got to drop the kids at school and then she'll be here. So, 
so yeah okay so happy tuesday guys and we'll catch up with you soon evening guys it's five to eight um sorry bear with um i'm not feeling the best tonight i've had a pretty bad day pain wise and just feeling pretty crap to be honest um my vertigo came on i moved my head really quickly this afternoon and it was my fault and it's just i've been a bit spinny since then so i've taken one of my tablets um and i just feel a bit yucky and a bit tired from the extra morphine that i took this morning so i'm gonna have a cup of tea um and go to bed to be honest so i'm gonna say good night um because i feel like crap um i'm gonna read for a bit and i'm gonna go to bed so i will see you on wednesday vamp uh, vamp day see you in the morning guys good wednesday morning guys it is half past nine and i've got a mark on my glasses uh, i've just cleaned them and all um i am feeling sorry rough af today um as i was talking if you watched uh the week where i was in all week not very well i've got the consequences of taking morphine yesterday and i'm still in agony with my legs um so i'm having another day in today mum and dad have just popped to the bank and to do a few bits so i decided to stay in um doing some washing for mum um i've just took a picture of this book for my book instagram because that's been a bit neglected so is the blog but the blog's just gonna have to wait at the moment because i just don't feel up to writing it um but the book instagram i've just taken a nice picture to upload that so i can sit and do that that's not a problem it doesn't take too much brain activity to write an instagram post for my book blog um but yeah i just uh, got a really bad headache um i feel a bit sicky uh very tired went to bed about nine o'clock last night because i was so exhausted um but yeah other than that i'm fine Immy, me and Immy cat had a snuggle in the night and i'm pleased to say that she's put on a bit of weight because i can't no longer feel her hip bones at the back of her so that's good she looks a bit chunkier as well because last time we went to the vets she had lost a bit of weight so I'm hoping I might get a snuggle this morning. Um, and then this morning before I made my bed, she jumped up and started chatting to me. And um, she laid on the bed. She had very, very pinky paw pads, which I love. I love her little feet. And uh, we had a little snuggle. And uh, yeah, we've. T I'm just going to touch wood quickly. Touch wood. I've had no on it for about a week so a bit longer than that now and she's put on weight and she seems really happy so i hope this new food is working and the little episode we had over decorating this room i think was the stress of everything being different because she's such a sensitive little bear if you don't know the backstory Imi's my cat had her for nine years and i've got a few new subscribers thank you for all your comments and your love it means the world and please continue to do that i reply to comments obviously because i've only got a few subscribers but i do try and get back to everybody um imi was rescued from a friend of mine um and then i took her on from that friend who was going to university but before that she was um we think abused not by the friend that i got her from um because she's so nervous she's such a scatty nervous cat um and she's just yeah um but they think she's got crohn's she's got ibd so um she's on a food called uh, it's by hills um it's a prescribed food by the vet and it's hypoallergenic so it's 
really for cats who've got really severe allergies um, and it's a tiny tiny little biscuit it looks like kitten biscuits um, and she can manage that with her little mouth she's got a dodgy mouth bless her um, and yeah she loves them and she has been put really well with it she was molting really bad on the wet food that I was feeding her talking about you what are we talking about you she is she's talking about you um she was molting really bad she's bringing up fur balls and everything but since i've been put up since i put her on that food we've had no molting um and she's put on weight because she was quite skinny um and yeah she we've had no sick either so she was vomiting at least three or four times a week and yeah there she is yeah so she's a very happy little cat she's a very quiet nervous little cat but she's very 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 loved it's point rotten but yeah so she's doing really well we've had lovely little mornings morning little snuggles and that and i adore her absolutely adore her she's my little friend she knows when mommy's not well um so yeah i'm just gonna have a day i'm gonna get i'm gonna read some of this book because i'm that far through and i've got this far to go but it's so good um and i love reading i love books so yeah that's uh some uh yeah love my cat love books love coffee little three little things about Chloe so yeah but thank you to all my new subscribers it's uh, lovely to see my channel growing slowly but um each one of you means the world to me so but yeah i'm just gonna have a nice quiet day at home try and get on top of this pain with some stronger painkillers and yeah so i will catch up with you throughout the day i hope you all have a great hump day can't believe it's wednesday already the weeks just fly by don't they like boom gone um so i'm gonna go and upload this instagram picture make a coffee about tennis and read my book so i hope you all have a wonderful wednesday happy hump day and i will see you a bit later I have moved guys, I promise. <laughs> um, it's just been a bit of a bad day. Um, so I've just had done some reading this morning, some washing for mum, some tidying up. My wax melts come but I'm not going to get off the bed and show you right now but I will show you. Um, and it is ten past four. I've just potted about folding up some washing and sorting out um, some bits with mum that she wanted from eBay and stuff like that and just taking some tablets, done my tablets because it's Tablet Wednesday and yeah I'm just gonna chill for a bit till dinner, that's about it really it's nothing exciting today tomorrow we have a lady coming out from um she works for Macmillan and she's coming here to see me and my mum and dad um because she might be able to help us with my uncle so she's coming here I think she's coming at 10 so yeah it'd be nice to see if she can help us with some help for my uncle and then after that I've got to go and pop out and do a few bits um, and pieces and yeah, that's about it really. Um, yeah, not a lot going on really. Uh, this week's been a bit of a quiet week, which has been nice because last week was a bit full on with the decorating and stuff. So it's been nice to have a bit of a chilled out week. Um, so yeah that's about it really so yeah things have been a bit chilled today but yeah so tomorrow i've got to go to 
advertise my old bed frame in the local news agents because I have put it on my friends put it on face bay for me but one lady said she was interested and then changed her mind which is fine um so that's got to be put up for sale if I don't get any takers on it within like another week or so I'm just going to give it to the charity shop um and yeah and then after that I might go and have a look at pound stretcher, see if they've got anything in there. But other than that, not much. Not much is going down. Um, Friday, I might go and do a blog post if I can. And that's about it. So yeah, I'm going to probably chill and go on Instagram for a bit. Um, so I will catch up with you before bed. Good morning, good morning. It's Thursday morning. How are you all this morning? Um, we've got a lady coming this morning to talk to us from Macmillan about my uncle because he has cancer for my new subscribers. Um, just to see how they can get you into some clubs and that because he lives on his own. He has autism as well. And um, yeah, so just to see how they can help him and us as well. Um, so, I just wanted to show you my wax melt basket, candle basket, things like that, because I promised to show you my new wax melts yesterday. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I've got them set up like and things like that, because I've sort of, sort, of, uh, sort of fallen in love with them. So I just wanted to show you my collection and how I've got them stored. So I'm going to flip you around and show you that. So, this basket is Home Bargains. They're about two pound fifty something and it's just in that little space there in the cupboard so anyone that's been following me for a while knows that these candles from home bargain the sea salt and cotton by whitford and co are my ride or die candles so i saw this little baby one there um on my recent visit and i couldn't leave him decided it's a him and this cute little jar so I bought one so I have him um, and then I have three of these just the standard jar sized ones they're all the same scent because that's my favorite it smells very clean very fresh um, so yeah I have three of those ones burning at the moment so for the wick spin squish down because he's on top and I have one big daddy one in there so they're kind of stored in there and then he's there i have some cotton pads to clean out my wax melts um when they're you burn them and then once you want to change them you just stick a couple of these in and scoop them out so that's that and then i have some sorry i'm not in focus some reed diffusers these are one of my favorites these are the airwick reed diffusers this is the linen one i have one going over there if you can see it on top of the dvd player that's um what's that one i can't remember but it's not this one but this one smells really nice so i have one of those i have one of the wickford and co in the sea salt and cotton to change over to and then i have this pot's tupperware pot and i have some of the big eight hour tea lights from home bargains which i love because they do me like three nights two or three nights and then i have just some of the whitford and co uh, vanilla and cashmere scented tea lights for just my tea light burner over there and they're just the little mini ones and they're really nice as well so onto the wax melts so this one i think i've shown you this one this came with my mini wax melt burner it's the chub is it chubba bubba don't know it's lemon and lime uh not my favorite but it smells really nice really fresh and it's just in squares so you just break a square off like that so that's one of it's nice this is my absolute favorite at the moment this is from home bargains and it's the air pure fresh linen and it smells divine absolutely divine so if you're just starting out maybe i mean this was less than two pound so maybe just try something like these for the like i did for the start with and they smell amazing 
so I'd highly recommend the Air Pure Freshly Mins. Then I've got two of the Glade ones. I've got this one, which is what I've got in at the moment. These are the clean linen. These are very large cubes, so I've had to I'm gonna have to cut these in half in future because I've only got a mini. Well, I have got a large wax melt, but I've put it away. Um, but I've only got a mini wax melt burner, so I'm gonna have to like divide these in half by cutting them, which is fine. So they'll do me more. But this smells amazing, and it's lasted me two burns um, over two nights. So that's good value because they were under two pound as well. And then I've got this one which is a Glade Relaxing Zen. Again, really large cubes, so I'd have to cut those in half um, to do me two burns. This one I bought at the range, which is Air Pure Fluffy Towels, which just sounds amazing. So again, they're very large pieces, so I'd probably have to cut those as well, which is fine, I can do that, because um, I've only got a mini wax melt burner. Um, but they, I haven't smelt them yet, but the description sounded really nice. So they were a pound. So how long I'd get sent out of them, I don't know. Probably just one night. But for a pound, you can't complain. And then these are the ones I ordered off of a company on Instagram called Wax Melts by Steph. Um, and this is the scent Baby Powder. This smells exactly like Johnson's baby powder it is amazing um it was they were four pounds something nearly five pound for this block but again they're huge so i'd have to cut them in half for my wax melt burner but they smell exactly like baby powder and i love fresh smells like that like fresh linen as you can tell anything baby powder linen fresh smell so i'm really excited to try those so that's probably my scent for tonight and then i also got from her a clean cotton it's a bit smashed up from the post even though it wasn't a padded envelope but um again large cubes so i can cut them in half last longer and again this was four pounds i mean nearly five pound so i only got two to try them out and she sent me a free gift this is very florally so i'm not sure how i'm going to feel about this one um but i'll give it a go but it's not my cup of tea but then they don't know that do they when they send you yeah so that's my little wax melt collection reed diffuser collection really excited to put this on see if this smells like the candles so yeah i just thought i'd show you my little collection so yeah guys if you're interested in starting a wax melt collection i mean i was a bit dubious at first because my dad's really sensitive to smell um i am as well but i'm sensitive to nasty smells um but my dad said he can't smell them only when they he's in here um but i said to him if ever it gets too strong just let me know and i'll turn it off so he's fine with that um but yeah i just thought like i say i have bought some generic brands um rather than but i did rather than just supporting small companies but i will support small companies as well but i thought i'm gonna buy some of the generic ones first and see how i feel about them but it's it's really nice it's nice to have a nice smell um in your room or your house um so yeah just thought i'd share that with you it's just something that i've discovered and i really like so um yeah, so this lady's not coming till 10, it's 25 past 9. So I'm going to go and finish getting ready. Just got to clean my glasses, put some socks on and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great Thursday. Sorry this week's been a bit pants again. Um, but I haven't felt the best again. Um, so that's just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? So yeah, um, I will try and... Be more active today um my bookshelf arrived this morning from amazon but that won't be put up probably until the carpet's laid down now so yeah but i will try and be more active today and catch up with you throughout the day good afternoon guys bookcase arrived 
from I ordered that from Amazon it's quite a thin as you can tell it's like a thin bookcase it's gonna go here um, but it's not gonna go up until the carpet's laid so yeah that arrived um, I bought quite a good one I think it was 77 pound so I didn't want one that was gonna just be cheap and cheerful I wanted one that was gonna be quite good um, I've just gone through the footage that I've got for this week's vlog and it's a bit rubbish I'm sorry it's quite indoor based um, and usually I try and get some outdoor footage for you guys um, but I'm really sorry that it's been a bit of a rubbish vlog this week but I've been quite in a lot of pain and been in door base quite a bit this week of what with having my hair done on Tuesday and been in Wednesday and in today I'm going to try and get out tomorrow for a bit so hopefully there'll be some outdoor footage for you tomorrow um, we've had a little nap this afternoon had a little nap needed that Emmy was laid snuggled in my arms so that was really cute um, the lady came this morning to talk to us about my uncle and how we're coping which we're not coping very well so she's going to try and get us some help she was really lovely like really lovely so that's good she's going to try and get us some help um just changed the oil in my wax burner um took that out it's ready for tonight um read my letter from my friend i need to write back to her i'm just feeling a bit this week you know like when you just not feeling yourself i'm really tired and just not feeling 100 percent at all um i feel a bit sick this afternoon um the weather's been pants today looks like it's gonna rain out there at the moment so just not really been feeling it um so yeah that's really all that's been going on. It's been a bit of a quiet week this week. There's not really been much going on appointment wise and stuff. Next week's a bit busier, so there will be a lot more vlog action next week. So, yeah. I, like I say, I'll try and get out tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow yet. Um, but I will try and get out and about for you to make up the vlog a bit, but it's just sometimes how it is isn't it like you just have a bit of a week where you don't do much um so yeah anyway hope you've all had a great thursday and whatever you've been doing um but yeah emmy's been emmy was brave she came out for the lady she was proper brave she even went let her touch her and everything so she's getting brave in her old age and I mean proper brave so that was a uh, unusual she doesn't normally come out for anyone she normally hides under the bed like she comes out for my hairdresser and that's it so she obviously knew she could sort of trust her so yeah that was she was honored I said to her you you were honored she don't normally come out for anyone mate so yeah so I might go and read my book for a bit and uh, that's about it, so I'll catch up with you later. Good evening, good evening. It's quarter to eight. I am just finished watching a couple of episodes of, I've started watching Peaky Blinders. I've never watched that. So I've started with episode one. No, series one. Um, I've heard some good things about it. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, I don't think I was gonna enjoy it, but I've quite enjoyed watching watching it so far um yeah it's pretty good it's not something that i say oh my god it's so thrilling you've got you know you've got to watch it but it is it is good um i don't know whether i'll watch like the whole series all the way through to right up till now but um yeah it's pretty good so i'm just going to make a cup of tea in a bit and gonna bash through some more of my book so um i am three no i'm not i'm 447 pages in so i've got a little bit to go um so 
I think the plan for me tomorrow, mum and dad are going to go food shopping and all that. So I'm going to pop to Asda Living tomorrow because I need to get wrapped. I've got the really thick tea lights and I had to turn my wax on that off tonight because it was like, not smoking, but it was producing a lot of smoke. So I think I need to get some of the thin ones because it's only a small wax burner. So I'm going to go to Asda Living. I've got some parcels to take back of couple of bits of clothing that my mum's ordered and I've ordered that I don't like so I'm going to take that back and grab some tea lights from there and um, have a little look around there and that um, tomorrow morning so I'm going to do that and they've got a little cafe there I might grab a coffee and get some editing done um, but we'll see and yeah that's about it so this is where i'm going to end it tonight and i will see you in the morning guys for friday friday yay good friday morning guys it is 20 to 9 um look a state <laughs> got spots and everything um i am gonna go to as to live in this morning um because i need some small tea lights i need to take a couple of parcels back um so i'm gonna go there and have a little look around um get out of the house for a bit my mum and dad are gonna go food shopping um they don't need me fast already um so i'm just waiting for the bathroom to be free, free. but my mum will probably go in next um and then I am going to go over there this morning and have a look. It's a horrible day. It's manke. Yeah. It's manke. Yeah. It's manke. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do that this morning. So, I will get some footage for you. Um, some car footage and stuff like that. Because it's been a bit of a boring week for you guys this week. Um, so, yeah. That's what that's what my plan is. Um, but that's about it. I'm glad it's Friday. Yumi's under the bed. She's gone back to bed. She had enough Friday. Um, so yeah, but I'm really tired. My my B12 is like it's not being done till next Friday. But it's my fault. I've cancelled it a couple of times because I haven't felt well. Um, but my chronic fatigue syndrome is just it's just kicking my butt. I'm so tired. But I'm still going to venture out the house today because I think just sitting around doesn't help sometimes. Um, and I'm only going to be gone for a little while this morning. So, but yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. But apart from that, we're good. Um, so yeah, happy Friday guys and I'll see you very soon. Guys, it is nine minutes past ten. I've just got to Asda Living. Um... So I'm going to go in and have a look and see what I can find. I want to have a look in the clothes section, but I've got some parcels to take back as well. So I'm going to have a look and see what I can find, to see if they've got any bargains. Um, I need some candles, um, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's it really. Just picked up my patches from the chemist. Um, saw my mum and dad in there, like you do. Um, passing ships in the night I didn't record the journey because I wasn't wanting to listen to my music um, but I'll see if I can record the journey home and listen to my music um, to do like a montage thing um, so yeah I'll try and get some footage going round if I can, I think I'm going to get my scooter out because my legs are kidding me um, so yeah let's go shopping guys look at this duvet cover in Asda it's only freaking got cats on it. Look. I think I'm going to have to have that, aren't I? Look at all the cats on it. It's only a tenner. I think I'm going to have to have that, aren't I? Damn you, Asda. Now I'm in the book aisle, guys. This is dangerous territory. It's dangerous. I shouldn't do this stuff to myself, should I? All the books. Help, send help now. Joe, come help me. This is your fault. 
and getting withdrawal symptoms. Good evening guys, it's Friday night and it is 8 o'clock. Hope you are all well. Um, last time I caught up with you was in Asda. Um, I did film the haul this afternoon so that's already up on my channel. Go check it out if you want to see what I bought at Asda. Um, just had a bit of a chilled afternoon, watched some TV with mum and dad. Um, yeah, I finished watching Peaky Blinders, the first series, pretty good. Um, I'm now going to have a cup of tea, read my book. I feel a bit yucky tonight. I don't know why. I felt a bit yucky all week, on and off. I hope I'm not sickening for something. Um, yeah, just a bit sicky, like nauseous, nausea feeling. Like, um, so yeah, but hopefully not. Um, tired. I'm tired. Um, but then that's nothing new at the moment. I think tomorrow we're going to start painting over the red in the front room and stripping the wallpaper off in the front room. Ready to start decorating in the front room, not next week, the week after. Um, so yeah, it's all go really. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this week's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, please a thumbs up and leave a friendly comment down below and hit the subscribe button um and as always i will see you next week for another weekly vlog if you have any video suggestions please leave them in the no not the description box in the comments box down below and yeah i hope you all have a fantastic weekend and i will see you bright and squarely on monday morning for another weekly vlog see you soon guys thanks for watching bye